Welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report. I'm Ryan Pincy. The Florida State football team entered Saturday night's game at Death Valley riding a two-game winning streak. Unfortunately, that was snapped after five turnovers propelled Clemson to a 40-24 victory. Focus now turns to the Wake Forest team and Deacons, but the Knowles will be without starting quarterback Christian Ponder, who was injured late in the fourth quarter. The goal remains the same, getting to six wins and becoming bowl eligible. We still got a chance to get to a bowl game. We've got to find a way to win two out of the next three or three out of three and uh, get to a bowl game and see what we got to do. And uh, we have to make some adjustments. We need to watch film and when we go to practice, we need to be focused, um, you know, fix all our mistakes that we had, learn from this game. And just when we play way for us, we got to stay consistent. Offense has to move the ball and we should be okay. Tune in to Seminoles.com today at 1.30 as defensive coordinator Mickey Andrews, offensive coordinator Jimbo Fisher, and Christian Ponder address the media in their weekly press conferences. The 16th ranked Florida State volleyball team swept the weekend, defeating Duke and Wake Forest both in five sets. It was the first win at home over Duke since 2002, yet head coach Chris Poole knows that along with success comes a very large target from the rest of the league's teams. Our girls are still struggling with understanding the position we're in, that when you're up at the top right now, everyone is gunning for you, and, and no matter what the score is, no matter what the game count is, they are going to play as hard as they can to even try to take a set off of a team like this. So, you know, we just have to understand that we've got to do better, we've got to be more consistent. It took so long that we, you know, our play wasn't up to par like it should be. We're missing opportunities to get better when we play teams like this. You know, it's not, you can't get better in practice like you can against another team at six on six. So, it's frustrating that we didn't play up to our level like we should have. we got to stop going down. The volleyball team is back on the road this weekend at Clemson and Georgia Tech. The Florida State women's soccer team made it to the finals of the ACC tournament yesterday, but ran into a roadblock in the North Carolina Tar Heels, falling 3-0. The NCAA tournament selection show will air tonight at 745, and the Knowles will find out if they'll be hosting NCAA tournament play here in Tallahassee. And finally, the Florida State men's and women's swimming and diving team defeated LSU at the Morecambe Aquatic Center. Men's diver Landon Marzullo set a new school record in the three-meter dive. We'll see you back here tomorrow.